12 up to 18 seats. And uh, and again, as we heard from people down there, that's uh, that's a big success. That humiliating defeat in 2016, this is a, a rebuilding time for sure. the NDP, and I think it's played out that way. Yep, absolutely. It has played out as far as rebuilding is concerned. And again, when you look at the stage, the NDP trying to broaden their uh, representation uh, from all points of Manitoba, and that a young Indigenous leader here, head of a major political party, that still is historic, not only in this province, but this country. Here we go. Thank you so much, Manitoba. And thank you so much, New Democrats. Way to stand up for all of us in this province. How do you do? I'm Wab Canoe, and I'm feeling pretty good tonight. I'm very proud of you, the Manitoba NDP. You've done such a great job, all the candidates, all the staff, and the volunteers. Make some noise. Thank you so much. So just a few minutes ago, I called uh, Brian Pallister to congratulate him on his victory tonight. It was a local call. I was, uh, you know, very inspired by the showing we had this time around, but uh, Manitobans chose to give him a second mandate, and so I congratulated him. Uh, you know, humble in victory, humble in defeat. That's my goal. But I don't think we were defeated tonight. I think Manitobans sent a very, very strong message, and the seats that we took back made it very clear that Manitobans want us, the New Democrats, to not only be the conscience of Manitoba, not only to be the opposition of Manitoba, but to be the progressive voice for Manitoba. And so we'll get back to work at the legislature very soon, and I want to congratulate our new MLA elects on your tremendous performance. You've made history, but you've made us proud. I also told Mr. Pallister that uh, he should bring in the agri-recovery protocol. No response in the room whatsoever. But this is a very important uh, thing that our livestock producers need, and I just want everybody across Manitoba to know that we are serious about representing your concerns, whether you're inside the perimeter, whether you're in rural Manitoba, or whether you are in the north. We are a party for all of us. Now, we had a very clear message in this campaign. We said this election was about health care. And I think the signs uh, that many Manitobans agreed with us are all the new, new Democrat MLAs who are going to be coming to the legislature this fall. And so there will be tough times ahead. You know, Mr. Pallister called this election early because the full impact of his cuts to health care have not yet been felt. And so we will be there each and every day holding him accountable and asking him to do better when it comes to health care because the seat pickups we gained tonight show Manitobans want much, much better from their health care system than they've seen these past three years. I also spoke to many Manitobans across the course of this campaign who are thinking about education. And the fact that we had so many teachers running as part of our slate this time was a clear sign that we must stand up for an education system for all of us in Manitoba. A strong education system isn't just about preparing people for jobs, though it does just that. An education system that works for all of us is about ensuring that every single kid in Manitoba has a fighting chance including those exceptional kids with exceptional needs. We have to give them all 
a fighting chance in our province. And I'm very proud to say that uh, we've got a uh, new MLA from the Wolseley who's going to be joining us. And I'm also very grateful to have uh, been given a second chance to represent Fort Rouge. And what I take, what I take from those results and the results across the province is that Manitobans want us to be strong when it comes to climate justice. Manitobans want us to solve the climate crisis. Manitobans want us to solve climate change. And so we will take that ask with honor. We will carry it forward. And so we will be there with the young people who are walking out of their classes on September 27th for the global climate strike. You are calling on us to act, and we will listen. Our new team, a very fresh, exciting team. By the way, our new team is going to have twice as many new MLAs as there will be veterans on the team. So a lot of new energy, a lot of fresh blood, but also a, a strong tie to the past. And so we are going to stand up for the environment, we are going to stand up for climate justice, and we are going to stand up for a Manitoba that works for all of us. Yeah. And so I want to thank my family, my beautiful wife Lisa, the boy, my siblings, in-laws, everybody, I've been really blown away. You guys have really sacrificed to be able to allow me to run this campaign. I could not have done it without you, literally. So I just want to say thank you. Or as we say back home, miigwech. And so it's with great humility that uh, we accept the results tonight. Not because we feel any kind of way about the uh, outcome of tonight's election, but we accept this with humility because the people of Manitoba have given us an awesome job. They have made us the official opposition. They have sought fit to give us an increased seat count in the legislature. And they have sent a clear message to Manitobans that the New Democratic Party is the progressive voice here in Manitoba. And so we accept that with honour, we accept that with grace, and we accept that with great humility. Because over the next four years, we are going to work hard each and every day. We're going to keep knocking on doors. We're going to keep showing up for all the community events. And four years from now, we are going to take Manitoba back and form a new democratic government. Thank you. Merci beaucoup. And miigwech.